am so glad that you are here today because I have a really fun Dollar Tree haul. And not only is it things that I picked up with my son, but we needed a household item. So I sent Bill to the Dollar Tree this morning while I was at work to grab it and of course he grabbed that and I think a couple other things so I'll share those and then you can all let me know if you think he picked up a bargain or a dud. <laughs> hey everybody it shall be with a chick plus three welcome. So we have a lot of fun in store we're gonna jump right in what do you say let's go. Bill's taste testing list of items from the Dollar Tree is getting so long that he and I are going to do a little Let Bill Taste It segment tonight for you too as a little extra. So I hope you stick around for that too. But right now, let's get this first item up and shown because I could not believe that I found these. Look at this. They are the carrot bags. They're shaped like carrots. I should clarify. They aren't actually carrots, but they are super cute. Look at this with the really pretty. This is like a lime green rim with white polka dots. All right, so I think to do these justice, we've got to get them out of this cardboard so that I can give you a better look. And I almost miss these guys. In that walkthrough, my son was with me, and I was so busy, like, filming the incredibly awesome bags that are actually boxes but look like bags they were so adorable that i got distracted from these and so thankfully my son grabbed them and threw them in the bag that was over my shoulder but here it is so there you can get a better look at it pretty roomy inside so you could stuff this with treats you could crumple up newspaper in it polyfill if you wanted to use it as decor like definitely if you're into tiered trays the way I am and then you just pull the little drawstring and look at that that is where you get the super sweet carrot shape I am just in love with these because I really like the touch of this bright green. So you see, this is the before, this is the after, but how sweet is that? Oh, and I guess since we're talking about sweets, let me show you this. I found another one of the pound cakes. This time it is the marble. So that means that I found the plain, the lemon, and the marble. So I can't imagine that there is another flavor pound cake out there. But I am super excited. I cannot wait to give these a try. It says, taste the best. American classic. So I am for sure gonna give it a taste and I will see if I am tasting the best. All right, now here is another brand new find. Look at this. This is by Chapstick. It is Total Hydration and this is the Moisture and Tint. Now, doesn't this kind of look familiar here? I'm gonna show you. I hauled these for you all just last week. Here, let me get these up here so you can see them. So see these sticks by Chapstick, Total Hydration, which I am loving these things, let me tell you. Well, so I don't know what the difference is. This also says Chapstick Total Hydration, Moisture and Tint. You know what? I just saw what the difference is. These gold sticks have SPF 15 in them. This one does not say any place on the packaging that it has SPF in it. So there you go. I think that's the difference. And also, this one is in Merlot, where in these I only found the very berry, the peach, and the pink. 
so different color too. But this is Moisture, Tint, and SPF in this styling. And the one that looks more like lipstick packaging is just the Moisture and the Tint. So there is a difference, but I was still super excited to find this wish list item. And the day I showed you guys all those chapstick moisturizers, I mentioned to you that, as you can see, the pigment in them is actually very strong. So if you are somebody that is just more about having the lip balm and just a touch of pigment, I had mentioned the Vaseline product. Well, look at that. These are back out now, too, at the Dollar Tree. So this is Vaseline Lip Therapy rosy lips. So this gives you that moisturizing but just the slightest hint of color. So definitely a difference between this and the chapstick. If you're not as big on the color then I would pick this up if you're interested and it is available right now at my Dollar Tree. So hopefully if you want it you're going to be able to find it too. Oh, and here's something else. I love the Greta crackers at the Dollar Tree. And all I have ever been able to get is the ones that are olive oil. And believe me, I am not complaining because I love those crackers. And they were so wonderful to have over the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Well, today I found these. They're the Greta crackers, but they are with vegetables. And in fact, it does say new right there on the packaging. So there you go. But it's cracker with garden vegetables. Now, the expiration date on these is December 24, 2022. So a nice, really long shelf life. But I am telling you all, if you are a cheese fanatic, the way that I am, oh, how I love my cheese. Cheese in a sandwich, cheese on a bagel, cheese and crackers, cheese alone, cheese, 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 you name it. <laughs> but Greta crackers are an awesome little, what is the word, accoutrement <laughs> to cheese. So I was really happy to find them in a new flavor. Oh, now here is something, too, that was really exciting. Name brand Wise Cheese Doodles, but what is really nice about these is these are the extra crunchy ones. So picture, if you're familiar with Cheetos, that is what these are, but they're cheese doodles, so it's Wise's uh, formula for that same product. But they're cheddar cheese flavored, made with real cheese, 5.5 ounces in this bag. So I thought that was a really good deal for $1.25. All right, so what I asked my husband to pick up at the Dollar Tree was some liquid dish detergent, you know, for hand washing your dishes. I could not believe that we were all out of it. And I'm like, did you check downstairs? Because I keep extra products down in our cellar. And he was like, yep, I looked to there and I'm thinking, me of all people, how am I running out of something that I buy exclusively at the Dollar Tree? But alas, I had. So I asked him if he could run into the Dollar Tree and get some. And so he obliged me and did that. He enjoys going into the Dollar Tree too. And so this is what he brought home. So I am not sure, guys, what you all think of this. Has anybody ever tried this? It's LA's Totally Awesome Oxy Ultra Deluxe Liquid Dish Detergent. Now I have to tell you, I usually get palm olive or Ajax, um, and I know that you get less for the money, but sometimes larger bottles of cleaning products may not be a bargain if they don't do the job as well. So I have no idea. This could be absolutely fabulous, a fantastic cleaner, better than Palmolive or Ajax or Dawn. I have no idea. So if any of you have tried this, I would be curious what you think if... Um, 
Bill actually brought home a good bargain by getting this mega 30 fluid ounce bottle of dish detergent or if he should have stuck with a smaller amount of a name brand. But smells like dish detergent so doesn't smell like I'm like ooh that's fabulous but it also doesn't smell repulsive it smells just fine it says it's original scent so let me know how you think he did and then of course because none of us can ever go into the Dollar Tree I think and just get one thing just go in and get what we intended to get right something else always catches your eye and so Bill is not immune to that and so he picked these up and I gotta tell you I saw these when I went with my son um, the day before and I was very tempted to try these out. They're cheddar cheese crackers made with real cheese. So Bisque is the brand there. You get nine in here. So obviously they look just like Cheez-Its, right? So we'll find out if they taste like Cheez-Its. Let's see. It is a product of India. Okay, I thought So Bisque sounded familiar. I'm sure that Bill and I have done a taste test on some of these So Bisque products in the past. And I kind of have a bad feeling because we did a taste test of, and I think it was So Bisque because I'm sure they were from India, the dupes of the like Pepperidge Farm Milano cookies and... I have to say I thought they were horrible and I love so much of the food from the Dollar Tree so I'm definitely not knocking Dollar Tree food. Um, I eat so many products that they carry. One's from India, one's from Turkey, the USA, so many products that I really like but we'll have to see. Hopefully these won't have any weird staleness to them. But I'll let you know what we think because nine little packages here for $1.25, I think that's a good deal. And I grabbed this because I thought this was a fun little find too. Marvel Spider-Man. And this makes three sun catchers. So there you can see it gives you the little paints. You get five colors the brush and the little gold thread to hang these. My grandchildren have made these sun catchers from the Dollar Tree in the past. I have them hung right now, in fact, in my dining room window. So it's a fun little project. Doesn't take forever to do. Very satisfying for the kids. And they actually come out super sweet, make a nice little gift. So we grabbed this for my grands to make some more sun catchers. And here was another product that I could not believe that I let us run out of. And without this in my dryer, I am telling you, things are a nightmare. You guys are going to laugh. I don't even know if I should be saying this, all right, because it's so ridiculous. But I went into work two days ago, and I was like, what is this, like, lump in my leg? Thank goodness nobody was around because I literally pulled out a pair of underwear that were static clung in the leg of my pants. So, and that has happened to me more than once. So we definitely cannot run out of these again. This is fabric softener sheets. So this one is dryer soft. I got to tell you, I buy this product based on how many sheets I can get for the $1.25. So this time, the largest count I could find was only 40. The scent is Outdoor Breeze. They also had this same brand in a linen scent, but I have spring on the mind, and so I thought that that scent sounded springy, so that's what I went with, and hopefully they will work nicely, and I'm kind of thinking they got to be better than nothing because I don't need to be pulling any more underwear out of the leg of my pants at work. 
And then I grabbed one of these because this was a new design that I have never seen. And it's this little Hot Wheels monster truck. My eldest son was so into monster trucks when he was a little boy. And the monster truck um, in the late 80s that, that he just was so in love with was called Bigfoot. So I really think it's kind of fun that um, now his nephew is really into monster trucks too. So this one is called Bone Shaker. Has a little design there, but he loves to play with these and I think $1.25 is a decent enough price. So I grabbed him that and we will put this away for a little Easter, you know, goodie bag basket style thing that I put together for my grands each year. All right, as promised, guys, Bill and I are back and we are going to do a special Let Bill Taste It segment. And look at this deliciousness here that we are going to taste. Can you believe this? <laughs> are you ready to do some eating? <laughs> yeah, I, I just had an, uh, an onion pierogi, so if it all tastes like onion pierogi. <laughs> all right, so we have, now these are all the same brand, and these were mm -hmm. all brand new finds for me, in any case, at the Dollar Tree just this week. It's American Classic, tastes the best. So they have it in marble pound cake. They have it in plain pound cake and in lemon. So I don't know, which one do you want to start with? Well, uh, we can use the lemon as a cleanser. All right. So we can go with the original. All right. And then we'll go with the, uh, the mix because chocolate and marble. All right. So actually, why don't we get it prepared? We'll do a slice of each one. And the expiration dates on the particular ones I picked up are June of this year. All right. So here's what it looks like coming out of the box. So in comparison, guys, you see to the box, I have to say that's a little flatter than I expected. Oh, that marble. one's puffed up a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, but it's still basically the, the same type of a small side. So home-baked ones are not this flat. No. So there is a difference Well, what do you want there. for $1.25? All right, here, let's move the boxes. All right, but it's all sealed nice. And, and it's in like nice. a big cupcake wrapper. New Jersey. New Jersey. And you can freeze these too, so smells good. So here's yeah. what this one is the plain one. This is the marble. You do. hold it and I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> oh, and this is a Dollar Tree knife. I love these knives. Been using them forever. All right, your fingers are under the glass, so we're good. Tip my thumb back here. All right, I gotta put some pressure. <laughs> All right, can you guys see? Can you hold it up a little bit? Can you bit? see it? Can you see it to believe it? So that's what it looks like. So we'll give these a smell taste in a minute. I just don't want to stick my nose on yours. All right, so that's a lemon one. Now that's what being married's all about. <laughs> You stick your nose on mine. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to stick on anything. All right. And then this is... It's like the old Brezhnev uh, saying. Ooh, that looks really nice. That's the marble one. What's yours is mine. What's mine is mine, too. All right, I got the tray now. All you right, like let's taste the marble. Right? I have the tray. You have the tray? Yes. All right. I'm letting go. I have the tray. It's kind of, oh. oh. <laughs> no, don't mess around and knock it. All right. Taste the marble. So there's what it looks It's nicely like. marbled. Yeah, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of chocolate in it. I think it's, it smells just like the, uh, the regular pound cake. Mm -hmm. Moist. Mm-hmm. Tastes like a onion pierogi, though. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that. Mm. You can taste the chocolate. It's good. I like it. 
Yeah. It tastes just like, in all honesty, any like store bought pound cake. Yeah. That I've had. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. It's 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 uh, it's moist, but it's not as moist as probably a, a homemade one would be. Yeah. It's definitely like the consistency is of like a store bought bakery product like when you buy store bought donuts and cakes tastes better with uh, whipped cream it would i like strawberries it. i definitely would get it again oh, yeah. and i would serve it to guests all right let's try the plain mm. mm -hmm. this one's a little bit drier yeah i was going to say that nice textures but i think Plain pound cake is rather dry, typically. A little. I mean, it has some give to it. Yeah, it, the, it is spongy. What I like about the top, mm. usually some of these things are sticky when you bring them out. Yeah. Like the, the sugar is... <laughs> My turn. <laughs> no. No, you're right. What I don't, you're, you're absolutely right. There's pound cake that these like golden top, like when you would peel it off, it all would just be like stuck to the paper. Like how it's, you know, yeah, like it, on maybe the it was sealed uh, when it was too hot. Yeah. yeah. All right. I like these. All right. They're good. So the last one we have is the lemon. All right, and obviously for freshness, I wouldn't just seal it in here because even though it has that tab, this is all open to the air. So oh, yeah. I'm going to wrap these in saran wrap or put them in Ziploc bags, all of which can be found at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, you know, with like, what was it, Petridge Farm Cakes you yeah. get at the grocery store, you can yeah, put them back in the box and keep them there. Yeah, there's no cellophane here. Or... Yeah. There's no weird aftertaste. It doesn't taste stale. It doesn't taste old. It doesn't taste like a second for any reason. No. Uh, it, it is made in a facility where there are nuts. Yep, so if you have allergies. All right, so this is what the lemon looks like. And if you're into lemon decor, the print on this box is actually nice enough that you could cut that out and do a little crafting with it. Make a magnet for your fridge. All right, I don't smell the lemon. That doesn't mean it won't taste lemony. Yeah. Same size as the others. It's bright yellow, so it definitely... Ready? Look at this. Wow. So yeah, look at is. that's really lemon Very colored. Very lemon colored, yeah. Yeah. No, just eat over I got it. Oh, you just got eat it? over it. I don't think you got it. <laughs> I think you think you got it. Yeah. I got it. Can't mm. smell the lemon. Can you taste lemon? Yeah, but this is my least favorite. Uh, it's not a real lemon flavor. Mm. It's like an artificial. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah, not my favorite. No, it's a chemically type of flavor. Yeah. Something about it on the roof of your mouth, like it up into your sinuses, well, gives this, like like a fake lemon extract. Yeah, it's not it's not even a pleasant extract. It's like a weird essential oil. I oh, see now, whatever. This is gonna sound horrible, I'm not saying by no means are they not using food products in it, but the taste to me is like the smell of Furniture polish, like lemon pledge. You know what I'm I, getting? I get that weirdness. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting the tartness of the lemon rind as yeah. opposed to the lemon flavor. But that's what I mean. It's more like After, in my nose in the back of. And now you mentioned lemon mind. pledge. It's all I can taste in my mouth. Yeah. Like sort of a chemical. You know, like how, spray. like oh, when I was a kid, I loved <clears throat> to dust because I loved to spray a ton of lemon pledge, and how that little fallout would like. Get into your face and like you breathe had a it problem. in. <laughs> oh. And so, 
that's what this is doing to my nose and my mouth. Yeah, so it's very pleasant. chemical. It's, it's not. It's not a. It's not a natural so, lemon flavor. So I have to say, I guess I think maybe the lemon one is going to end up as bird feed. Yeah, it really gives me the impression of, of that. If you try to eat a lemon peel, that mm -hmm. very outside edge of it is is. Yeah, not in a good way. Just not really good in your mouth. All right, so, and I was trying to see on here. It says natural lemon flavor. Yeah, well. So I do not know, but it also has yellow number five in it, so that's definitely what's giving it that rather bright color to it. So, all right, so this is the lemon one. This is what it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I don't want to eat that, so thumbs down on that. The other two are great. Yep. The, for what they, you know, what you're buying. The marble one yeah. and the plain one, we will definitely uh, eat those. Yep. I got strawberries downstairs. All right. So there you go. Yeah. That's the 411 on the Dollar Tree Pound Cakes.